doing? This is Khalilu Makhari. I am back with another YouTube video. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. It's a beautiful Wednesday and I decided to do a chit chat video because when last did I just sit down and just talk about my life experiences, about my lessons. I really miss that, hey, because the people who know me know this is my element, this is what I enjoy doing. So before I get into the depth of the video, I just want to thank everyone who always interact, who always like, comment, share to the new subbies, welcome to the family. Thank you very much to the OGs, your efforts really don't remain unnoticed. So today is the 29th of November and in today's time it will be the 1st of December and those who live in South Africa know that um, the year ends in November and December is just the vibes, it's a good time, you, we have time with your family, your friends, you know we are out there, we are socializing in December so that's what I'm planning to do this December, I'm planning to socialize, I'm planning to go out and actually have fun because I feel like I have deprived myself from that but this year we are going all out, <laughs> you know are out so expect a lot of vlogs next month maybe i'll invite my friends but just expect like these fun things trying new outfits uh going out vlogs invite friends you know these fun things i want to bring the fun um to my youtube because i'll be really having fun so yes uh before that whole thing i just wanted to do a reflection video because it's something that it's either like normally I would write down my reflection but today this year I want to record it you know I just wanted to 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 film um reflection uh what have I learned this year and what am I going with to the next year what I'm what am I doing differently so yes, this would be this video will be a chit chat video where I'll be just reflecting. It won't be long. It might be ten minutes or even less or more, whatever. So, twenty twenty two. Wow. Um, I don't even know where to where to start because like a lot happened. You know, hurtful things happened. Um, painful things happened. Growth happened. Beautiful things also happened this year so i think my 2022 was a roller coaster in a nutshell my up my ups were upping my lows were lowing but one thing that i'm grateful for is that my ups really did sustain me in my local era um if you get what i'm saying because i started this year with uh with a lot of goals with a lot of expectations for myself um, I think that's how I rate myself, you know, that's how I set the foundation for the year. So I did not leave no room for not achieving those goals. It's either I achieve all of them or I'm non-existent. But that's where I came in terms with um, we plan and God decides, you know, he knows us best. He knows what we need each season. He knows if he gives us this prematurely, this will happen. So he tries to prevent all of that by giving us what we need every season we need so i got to understand that later on because we know this phase we plan god decides but until you actually actually in it or you facing it that's where you understand the whole concept with intention or with depth you know so i remember having a conversation with uh, Vukosi, and I was like, dude, I feel like my life is stagnant, you know, I've been working so hard, but I haven't achieved my priority goals, because I feel like, okay, not I feel like, every single time when I set my goals, every year, now, there's priority goals and there's general goals, so yes, I achieved some of the things in the list, but I didn't achieve all of them, you know, so I was like, I right, dude, I feel like my life is stagnant, I'm working so hard, so what am i not doing right or what am i doing wrong you know this guy literally looked at me and it's like babe <laughs> you've done amazing this year you know you might have not achieved everything on that list but you have you have achieved other things outside 
that list you know it shows that god is in control and god knows you best god knows what you need at each and every season uh, he's trying to prevent some of the things so if you don't acknowledge if you invalidate the the the, the blessings or the goals and uh, not the goals if you don't uh, if you don't validate the uh what god has blessed you outside that list um it's like you not seeing his power and it's like you undermining him it's like you telling him god rule my life the way i want you to rule and that's where i i got to understand that his plans are always great you know if i invalidate what he has done for me how will he trust me with what i want because already it shows ignorance already it shows um it doesn't show gratitude you know i got to that's where i started like god thank you for this thank you for that i didn't see it because i was too focused on the list because i feel like i was just um i was boxing him and so i was like no sorry god for boxing you i i really see what you've done to me and I, what you've done for me until this far i know you're still gonna do more and thank you for giving me the strength to achieve what i already achieved you know um that's where you you come in terms with um understanding his will and understanding that he the plans that he has for us is greater than what we actually have for ourselves you know it was not hard it was um a work in process and being still in his presence and his word so one of the things that i wanted to achieve this year was self-awareness you know and i feel like 60 percent i have achieved that goal and other 40 percent i don't think i have because i believe that we can never really know ourselves like that or know the next person because we evolve every single day or every single second we change every single second so i kind of like i kind of know myself 60 percent i kind of know the core um traits that makes me really and how i went about it okay let me start that i didn't know like you know just writing your goals i didn't know how i'm gonna achieve that because i tried writing down things and it didn't really work for me but i i came across this podcast by mpumili brendan y'all know y'all know those are my faves so i came across this pod podcast they are mpumili brendan and they were doing this other activity where you had to compliment not compliment not necessarily compliment but um what do you call like mention things that you're good at and mention things that you're bad at you know and i kind of related more to brandon because i i never really want to like see what i'm good at because it feels like i'm not being humble or i'm bragging but when what mpumi said that uh, it's weird how we can compliment the next person we can say oh my god you have a good body oh my god you have a nice voice you're beautiful you're good at this wow you're quick but you can't even compliment yourself Motagari, name five things you're good at you still have to think oh, um, mm, mm, mm. which is wrong toxic toxic stays in 2022 if you're still going through that you should be able to just when somebody says no name something you're good at you should say i'm good at this i'm good at that i'm good at that i'm good you know even need more that's where i i got to understand the the foundation of me you know i started doing this exercise by just being present in myself because you not knowing what you're good at is not being present in yourself so i started being present in myself by actually when i do something i'm fully there and i notice when i interact with customers i notice go hmm, girl you know when i when i cook when i clean when i when i when i do something i notice go wow i'm very passionate in this and that that's the way i i learned my good traits and also my bad traits i've noticed a lot of things that makes me a horrible person but i feel like my goods overshades that overshadows the the bad you know 
uh, so that's how I feel like we should actually know what makes us as I, I've learned what I enjoy doing you know it's like I am kind of self-aware not fully but I'm kind of self-aware and the second thing that I wanted to achieve this year was not being a perfectionist so that the second thing that I wanted to achieve is not being a perfectionist and funny thing is just yesterday I came across this video by Priscilla I don't know if y'all know Priscilla but I know oh, I forgot her surname but Priscilla from War Room I think she's a pastor she was like uh, I'm gonna paraphrase sorry but she she's like um, you you can't be per there's already somebody who's perfect and you are not he you you need to understand that we are placed in this world to make mistakes to fall down to actually learn from the process of falling down we, we are placed in this world to actually grow you being a perfectionist is you not wanting to enjoy the the moment because now every step of the way you're just like i want this to be perfect you're not fully in the moment and enjoying it and be like oh 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 and see the end product and next time you do things you know no i'm not supposed to do this and that so i think that was a, a validation that that was a voice from god says you are on the right track you're not supposed to be perfect you you're supposed to be um you you're supposed to enjoy the process so and other things obviously but that those are the things that i wanted to touch on and as you all know my book uh, i wrote down um the lessons that i that i took for myself um oh, my nose fam so i wrote down the the lessons that i learned throughout the 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 year and the things that kept me going you know it's not a lot but mm, let's get into it so the first one is be intentional in everything that you do be intentional I always have the why why am i cleaning um for the room to be clean do it that's where you will you will learn discipline that's where you will learn obedience i'm not fully there but i'm i'm trying uh why am i why am i applying for uh, a job why am i apply why am i applying sorry why am i applying to get a job do it with intention be present in that why did i get this job why you know like people who have a club of sweet and they're like complaining they're like doing this they they lose the the, the motivation so every single time you're at work or you are with your family you always have the why because it glorifies God. It's saying, God, I see what you have done for me. Thank you. Even with your family, love your family with intention. And it glorifies God. It shows gratitude to God. Um, like, um, God, thank you for this family. Like, something wholeheartedly. Thank you for, for, for this job. Um, for um, your friends. Like, love them with intention. Understand your friends. Because... We are all different, you know. The minute you, you understand uh, that's where it's going to make your life easy. You know, you're not going to expect a lot from Rele because you already know who Rele is this type of person. You're not going to expect, you know, be intentional in everything you do. When you pray, pray with intention. Pray. It glorifies God. It, 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 it shows gratitude to God. And the second one is it's okay not to be okay. And also this phase, I know it's thrown around. Everybody's just saying that. Um, it's okay not to be okay. But until you are okay, until you're not okay and you're okay with not being okay, that's where you, you understand the face more. Like it's okay to, to not want to see people it's, for that day, not forever it's okay for just wanting to be alone it's okay for feeling sad it's okay because there is strength in vulnerability oh my nose is itching hey yeah anyway um it's uh, uh, the strength in vulnerability this uh 
fire igniting and vulnerability and be fully in it fully be fully present in in your most vulnerable state because you are the minute you get out of it you are never going back to it because you you felt every single piece of your sadness you know the third one is trust the pro uh, trust the process um it's not always going to be perfect but the minute you you trust the process and you are fully uh in that process and aware of that process you you enjoy the end result more uh, i don't know if you all remember uh, if you haven't watched my drop the mic video stop now and go to that drop the mic video because uh when when uh you trust the process perfection is not at the top of your head you know you enjoy it and you do it when you see the end result it makes you happy you don't question it you're like oh no this is good wow and you compliment yourself instead of saying i should have i would have i don't know no no trust the process it will work out sooner or later there is light at the end of the tunnel the other one is you first then everyone do what makes you happy do what puts you at peace find what makes you happy if you this person is kind of toxic to you remove yourself from that person if your family is toxic like you first then everyone you first and the last one is have tiktok guys guys you know uh, have tiktok when i say have tiktok have tiktok because tiktok is therapy tiktok is fun tiktok if you ha if you don't have um an account have a tiktok account even if you don't participate it's still okay but just have tiktok tiktok is, is like the world of its own you know you find everything that you need if you love r&b there are songs there if you like gospel there is if you like sermons there if you like fashion if you like makeup if you like huruka, if you, tiktok will literally show you that it's not really that deep you know we we try every single time but at the end we need to have a good love um yes we have come to the end of my video i hope you enjoyed every single thing i said i hope you learned something from what i said if you disagree with some of the things you're allowed to comment um if you learn some of the things you're allowed to share them it's a free space thank you very much if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe um share this video invite people to this video and let's have fun let this family grow thank you very much Bye. <music>